Okay, another uh, 300A Palomar uh, on the bench. This is a customer's, not mine. One of the last you'll ever see me touch of somebody else's. Just uh, too many issues trying to um, do a repair for somebody else's stuff. Um, so anyway, this came to me. Um, um, very bad packing. The um, caps, electrolytic caps, the old ones were the big ones were kind of hanging everywhere. Um, dried out caps. So looking underneath, you can see um, got new caps in it across, new caps on the low voltage board. Also, the customer was saying that the um, amp shorted out as soon as you keyed it down. And how the Palomar 300A high voltage work is this relay right there is a high voltage relay it is only keyed up when the amp keys up and you know uh, on power so when you operate the amp and key up and the RF relay keys up so does that relay there and that applies high voltage from the um, transformer to this um, power supply board here to the high voltage so there's no high voltage going into this board until you actually key up and the problem was he had two shorted dials that's those four black things right there um, it had I think three amp or six amps in there um, diodes but two of them were shorted out so nowadays you can get ten amps which these big ones here are um, for about 75 cent a piece or something like that um, so since I have a lot of 10 amps I just went ahead and um, upgraded it to the 10 amp uh, diodes cleaned the relay uh, replaced all the caps and while I got it underneath here just a quick view of the socket that this um, external transformer plugs into you can see it's sticking out a little bit now it's one of the problems with uh, two-piece uh, amplifiers is the uh, plug and socket it goes to but anyway starting at the bottom I said I was gonna get used to trying to use a pointer excuse me a second it did so I don't use my fingers we are off with the power and off on this too so See my pointer is pointed to the um, two on this side. If you can see they're connected together. That's all from the transformer. That's the low voltage coming in on those two pins. And over this side is the ground. It uses two pins to ground and two pins for the low voltage. The one over here is the black was the ground. It's an eight pin plug so that's four of the pins. Then the two pins under that are your high voltage. It's all AC coming in. You know, one of those lines goes to the relay here. And the other uh, line, I believe, goes to either the diodes or the middle of the caps. It's a voltage doubler circuit. So, um, and since it goes through the relay, the transformer it really, on the high voltage part, it's not in effect until you actually key down and that relay keys in. And then the other two, which you can't see, I'm going to flip it over now. I think I'm done with this side. Coming on the other side, which is the top. That's the AC going out to the um, transformer. You know, the AC goes to the fuse and to the on-off switch. And then it goes, you know, out to the transformer. Also, the AC goes directly to the fan after the fuse and the high voltage switch. So if you unplug the um, power transformer, which I'm going to do now, unplug the external transformer and we're going to turn it on. And we see people, you know, selling these or, you know, have problems with these. And they say, you know, it's on now and plugged in and as you can see nothing is happening except the fan is running and that's all you're gonna get when you um, um, don't have the transformer uh, plugged in or there's a wire 
or something messed up with the transformer with either the AC going you know into it or the low voltage coming out out the low voltage is going to actually provide the light up the filaments light up the external light and you know power the relays and preamp and other stuff for it and usually what goes is either the low voltage coming out or the ground because um, the low voltage does need to ground one side is the low voltage out the transformer the other side of that is the ground um, so usually that's a problem when you have a pin either on that plug or on a socket or a wire messed up you're only going to get the fan so we turned it back off and we're going to plug the transformer in nothing should be charged up because we didn't have the transformer plugged in so the transformer in and we're going to turn it back on we always turn the AC off here too so it's like a double safety and you can see now the um, the indicator light lights up and the tubes are lighting up and it's warming up getting ready to go um, so if it's not lighting up it's um, the transformer usually one of the plugs I have seen a few different versions of how the transformer is wired up some of them have a um, no fuse at all for the low voltage I've seen some with the um, fuse on the back of this kinda like the Palomar here you can see the fuse holder and the fuse cap there I've seen that on a few of the back of this and then I've seen a couple with inter internal fuses so if you're not getting power to light it up and you got you know a good plug and the transformers plugged in take that apart and see if there's a um, internal or external fuse in the transformer box um, also while we warming up a little bit when the customer shipped me this thing he didn't use any packing at all so of course this thing got beat up badly um, and I was like wow marvelous you know uh, uh, I know sometimes guys don't care about shipping stuff that I buy but you know this was his and he didn't pack it at all you know not a little bit but none basically just put it in a box and shipped it away so anyway needless to say a couple tubes were broken so I replaced two of the tubes with the and I used them for the driver tubes here that way his four over here could still be a match set but they're still weak uh, his tubes and um, also I hit a broken knob and a broken um, one of the switches there was broken off due to his packing so as you can see you know all the switches are good now so I replaced the switch and uh, actually since I had a lot of Palomar and a lot of knobs I put on another knob for him too and wasn't that nice and uh, then did a little bit of reworking a lot of cleaning up because this was a um, messy amp and uh, I got it going again everything works on it and as I say this is a customer so don't ask me how much on it and but it's not doing a lot anyway with the weak tubes and I guess the last thing we're gonna do is uh, key it down and if I haven't knocked anything or moved anything it should be keyed up and I got very low drive going into this this digital watt meter here is the radio going into it like an input watts and input SWR and the amp is keyed so I'm dead keying one watt with like a 1.9 input SWR um, and I'm talking to about a 7 watt 6 7 that's all I'm putting into this amp so you can see a very low dead key like 30 watts this is on um, 200 watt scale RMS audio and talking about 150 <whistles> whistling about 200 that's not a lot for a uh, two driving four you know amplifier there but again it's got weak um, power tubes and last we're gonna put it on peak and it can about uh, 60 audio 2000 watt scale now on peak so hello 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 whistling and talking about 300 peak and you know with good tubes it can do um, maybe twice that 
or a little bit less than twice that if you want it to last long but as you can see it's running smooth oiled up the fan cleaned it up real good um, everything working uh, again this is a uh, customer's Palomar 300A hello 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 300 watts with the um, wheat tubes out anyway uh, that's it for this one bye